how many of you have been to Goa, but this reminds to me like taking a scooty and uh, riding out in Goa. This is the route that I would be riding today and it goes all the way like this along the coast. I think this is going to be a beautiful ride. Han Janab, to Sube Sade Paj Vijay ka scene kuch aisa tha. Good morning. It is now 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm uh, just about to pack up from here. Having my breakfast and uh, coffee. Ah, the roads are uh, empty because it's really early in the morning, and uh, yeah, the sun is up. And but there is a breeze, there is breeze, so it's not uncomfortable. Hopefully, the ride uh, happens to be as good as it was. Yes. Oh, uh, first Manazuru and uh, then Atami. Ah. Uh, I'm scared of the elevation but uh, I'm really excited about the views. So yeah, let me do it even if it's strenuous because the views are worth it. This is a road towards uh, Manazuru and uh, Yugawara. I hope this is the right route. I don't know, I just took this route. There is deadly elevation. Hopefully now it's downward because I'm really tired. Ah. So the uphill stream is done. Now I'm uh, going on down towards uh, route 135 which uh, will take me to Atami and from there to Ito. The upstream, uh, I just spoke to an elderly person behind and uh, what I said was the upstream is done and uh, now it's only the down, uh, downward hill. Yeah, it's a down. Good thing. Uh, I much needed it, to be very honest, because it had been really taxing. The humidity is absolutely crazy and the elevation is as well crazy. So you can see I'm the way I'm perspiring right now is more like I've just come out from the bathroom. Okay, so it's absolutely uh, hideous and uh, the amount of effort that it's taking is crazy and the sun is also uh, coming up now so it's going to be even more difficult I have another 20 more kilometers to go so I just I'll ride that's what uh, that's a challenge that I've set for myself and uh, let's go the road is actually a treat to the eyes it's beautiful but the amount of effort you need to put in is really uh, crazy. So yeah, but if you are willing to put, um, put in the efforts needed, I think the view is uh, worth it. Yeah, but again, you can as well do it in a car. So that's another way to look at it. But I think uh, I would still go with a bike or a bicycle any day because the speed at which I can uh, pedal my bicycle is something that's comfortable and uh, I really get a lot of more time to uh, turn around, look and uh, reach safely. But yeah, you need to be prepared to uh, really get on uh, the elevations and the hills. So that is a sacrifice that you need to make in order to get the views and the beautiful scenery here. But that's a part of uh, this ride, I believe.
3.5 km tunnel and uh, I am right now standing on route 135 uh, and I am around uh, 12 km from Ito and you can see Ashwa is uh, just taking some kind of rest here, he is fully loaded he is also tired I believe, I am as well tired but I think uh, I set out a challenge when I started in the morning to uh, ride till Ito come what may but uh, and I think I'll be uh, succeeding in that there's some amount of uh, elevation now uh, you can see that's uh, ascent and uh, what I've heard is then there is a descent straight down till Ito should be good so estimated time of uh, arrival is around 11.30 to 12 o'clock that's what I'm estimating right now it's around uh, right now it's around 10.15 so even if I go at a relatively considerable uh, peace, restful pace, pace, I think uh, I should still be able to make it. So yeah, let's hit the road. I've just reached Ito and uh, I'm just heading towards the hostel where I'm uh, supposed to stay tonight. That's around uh, 4 kilometers from here. So, I'll be just heading to the hostel. I checked out. I can uh, store the luggage over there. So, I'll be just dropping off the luggage that I uh, don't need and heading back off. guys i have uh, finally reached ito city and i have uh, checked into my uh, room uh, the room check-in is actually at three o'clock so i'll be able to enter the room only at uh, three so but uh, the hotel has been uh, generous enough or courteous enough for me to provide an area to rest as well as take bath so this is a private bath area private onsen as they call it and uh, this is where uh, i will be taking bath now come i'll show you how this looks. The bath is like this. This is a private bath. This is onsen. This is a natural hot water coming out from uh, some of the mountain. I don't know which mountain is it. But the water is absolutely hot. Uh, these are the bath toiletries that they give. The soap, conditioner, etc. And uh, this is the clean up area. So yeah. This is uh, basically the seat and uh, to pour the hot water on to you so that you get acclimatized to the hot water. This is the private path. I'm uh, really amazed to use it. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, just come out and let you know how the bath was. I'm back from uh, the small onsen uh, bath. I spent almost 30 minutes in here. The water was really, really hot. You can see the water uh, temperature at the origin is 51.6 so you can see what's the uh, uh, temperature of the water it was really really hot i had to really cool my body down with a dose of really cold water before come out and even now i'm just sweating like crazy but it was a much needed uh, bath that i uh, actually liked because my stiffness of the body is gone now I'm really fresh to head out. So guys, that was my experience of the road and ride till Ito. In the next episode, we will explore the beautiful Ito and its surroundings. Till then, love you all, take care, tata, peace. Before heading away, if you like the video, please do not forget to let me know by hitting the like button. If you did not like the video, feel free to hit the dislike button. Also, if you are not subscribed, subscribe to join the GC Army. Here you have seen it, now you subscribe, it's free. See you then, take care, bye bye, love you.